Yes, same level on the TV, and today I'm very lucky to be joined over Zoom by Sam King ahead of his upcoming fight on the 10th February on the undercard of Hamza Shiraz or Liam Williams live on TNT Sports from the Copper Box Arena. So yeah, mate, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm good, man. Are you? How are you? Yeah, 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 I'm not too bad, mate. So yeah, what, what I wanted to start with is, um, you know, if we go back to the start of your career, how did you first get into boxing? Um, I first got into it, my brother was sort of just taken to the gym by my dad. And yeah, like all my family sort of get into it a little bit. So I just started up when I was about six years old. And then I got probably into it about nine years old. And yeah, ever since then, I've been just fully at it. Okay, so then obviously you went to have your amateur career, you know, very successful amateur career. So sort of touch on some of the accolades that you got, you know, what you achieved. So what was your amateur career like? Yeah, so I got into the England team at about 15 years old. Um, yeah, I won national titles. I won seven international titles boxing abroad. I boxed against loads of countries, you know, like Sweden, Finland, Denmark, uh, Ukraine, Italy. So I boxed everywhere, really, against all the best. So, yeah, I had uh, 57 amateur fights and I won 49. OK, so then obviously last year, you know, you obviously turned over into the pros, signed with Frank Warren. How, how have you sort of found that switch so far, obviously, from the amateurs to the pros? Yeah. It's so much better, to be honest with you, mate. Like, honestly, the amateurs are a bit, is a bit, like, all over the place. Um, but with, with turning pro, it's just a little bit more, you know, it's my style suited. Um, it's better for people that work hard, you know. If you're actually working hard as a pro and you're putting in the effort, you know, the longer rounds, obviously. And, um, you know, when you're in the gym day in, day out, like, you just get better and better. And that's why I enjoy doing, you know. As long as I'm getting better and improving, then uh, I know I'm doing something right, so... Yeah. 100%, mate. So, obviously, last October, you know, you had your pro debut against Dwayne Grant at York Hall, Bethnal Green. You know, you got mm. the line, you dropped him twice in the first round. Sort of touching yeah. that experience, you know, what was that sort of experience like getting that pro debut? It was good, man. Like, look, I wanted to just enjoy my debut and I did enjoy it. Um, Dwayne Grant was a, a an experienced professional. Um, you know, he's not really he's been stopped once before me. So, you know, I was looking for the stoppage, obviously, and maybe I've tried to force it a little bit too much. But, you know, I put him down twice, as you say, in the first round. And, um, you know, it was a good debut. It was I learned a lot more in that debut than I could have with just some sort of, you know, someone that's just going to roll over and, and get knocked out straight away, you know? Yeah, 100%. So, obviously, um, this upcoming fight, you know, at the Copper Boxer, you know, on, on the card of Hamza Shiraz, Liam Williams, you know, massive, massive card. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, how, how did that sort of come about and how long have you known about that for? Uh, yeah, I've, I've known about it since the start of the year. Um, you know, before, really, just before Christmas, I got told I was obviously on that card. And, um, you know, it's a massive card to be on, so I'm, I'm really, like, thankful to be on it. Um, and as I say, you know, like, it's, 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 it's just a massive card. I'm just happy to be on it. I've known since before Christmas. Um and then straight away from the new year, January, I just got straight into camp, you know, properly. I was training over Christmas because I knew I was on the card, ticking over. And uh, we we hit the camp properly from the 1st of January. Um, and that's going well. So, so on that, you know, you just said there you start camp 1st of January. How's that sort of been, you know, and has it been any different till so your first pro camp? To be honest, I've got like the ball rolling from the first pro camp and, and I think I'm going to keep my camp similar to how, how it went the first time. Um, you know, I, I train a lot. I train very hard. I've got everything sorted out with my sparring, my SNC, um, you know, my runs and things like that. So I've got a good schedule and uh, everything's going according to plan, you know, like everything's good. The weight's good. So, yeah, I'm just sticking as I did the first camp, really. Um, obviously, just different sparring partners and whatnot. Mm. So then, obviously, on to your opponent, Artos Glowacki. I'm not uh, too sure if I pronounced that right. He's got seven wins, yeah. 15 losses, and one draw. So, you know, pre pretty big, yeah. um, pretty tough opponent, you know. Um, Obviously, having 21 fights. So, how, how much do you sort of know of him? And do you know, like, his style? How much do you sort of know of him? Yeah, so, you know, obviously, I've watched him. Uh, to be honest, I had an, a, a different opponent that pulled out... Uh, he didn't pull out. Something happened with his maybe his medicals or whatnot. Um, he'd won one fight and lost one fight, so I was preparing for that. Um, I wanted a little step up, and uh, yeah, so obviously that didn't come through. So they changed the opponent uh, only last week, really. And um, so I've had a little look and whatnot. But to be honest, it's not really about him. It's about me. It's about what I do. He's a southpaw and things like that. And I'm good with southpaws. I'm good with you know, as as you say, like I've had an experienced amateur career. So you know, 
look, I'm, I'm just excited to get in there and, uh, you know, let you have it, really. <laughs> well, thank you very much. So what do you think a win would mean over Bartosz Galaki? Uh, what do you think that would sort of mean to you and, you know, your career going forward for the year? Yeah, I mean, it's a statement, you know, like, not a statement, but it's just, you know, it's a step up. That's what I mean. It's uh, a lot of prospects, I'd say, you know, fight people have had, you know, 60, fight, 60 fights and won one or something. You know, this fellas, he's won seven fights. He's had five knockouts in them seven. He's coming here to win, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's, that, 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 that's, that says a lot in itself. Um, it's my second fight. Even my first fight was, you know, an experienced um fire so look, that's just I, I want to get in there prove something um and actually have fights that you know are exciting you know someone that's going to come in there and try and fucking beat me pretty much um and yeah hopefully it'll suit me a lot better because like i say in that first fight i put him down twice in the first round and from then on he sort of felt the power and didn't want to throw and just tried to survive, if that makes sense. Whereas this guy, I'm hoping he'll come and he'll throw and he'll try, you know what I mean? It leaves people a lot more exposed. So hopefully I can I can uh, exploit that. Yeah, 100%, mate. So obviously on that, you know, like if you get a win, where you sort of want to go, how, how active would you say you'd like to be this year? You know, obviously it's your second year as a pro. How active would you say you'd like to be this year? And where do you think you want to see yourself at the end of the year? Yeah, I want to be very active this year. Um, I want about five fights, God willing. So that's the plan. That's the plan with Frank so um, and my management. So we, we're going to try and get five fights this year. Obviously, we're starting the ball rolling straight away in February. It's the first Queensbury uh, show. So we're going to smash this one. And then look, I'll probably have a couple of weeks uh, just taking over and whatnot and then just get straight back into the next camp for the next one. Um, like I say, I'm hoping to, have, I'm hoping to be 6-0 by... Um, obviously next year so that's that's where I'm looking to be this year What would you say your end goal would be in the whole sport of boxing you know so 10, 15, 20 years from now you look back on your career what would you say you want to achieve you know looking back on your career World titles that's um, that's an easy answer anyone that doesn't want to win world titles you know obviously people say they have levels in boxing so you know you can't all aspire to be the best but like I said I want to, I want to win world titles um and the route I've got and obviously the team I've got with me, we, we're on the route to do that. It's early days. I'm hoping, obviously, to get to 6-0 and by the end of this year. Next year, I'm going to push on for titles. I'd love to see myself in the next two years become British champion. And from then on, that's where you're a world level. You know, you, 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 you fight for world titles and that's where I'll be looking to go. 100%. So have you got anything you want to promote? See if you Instagram, anything like that? Um, yeah, well, if you're watching, go and follow me on Instagram. It's samking224 underscore. And um, yeah, just that's, that's it really. Thanks to all my sponsors and whatnot. Um, and thank you to my management and Frank Warren and Queensbury Promotions. 100%, mate. So, yeah, thank you so much for your time, mate. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll definitely... Thank do you it. as well. Best of luck with your fight as well. So yeah, thank you, mate. Um, I appreciate it.